evening. Three five-minute rounds in the XFC welterweight division. This bout is being brought to us by our good friends at Throat Punch IND. Take life by the throat. Check out ThroatPunchIND.com. And now, let's meet our fighters. From the blue corner, he's a mixed martial artist. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 170.6 pounds. Tonight, he brings into the cage a perfect record of three wins and no defeats. Representing Pitch Black and Upstar Karate from Simpsonville, South Carolina, please welcome Joseph Crush Corneroli. And his opponent, standing across the cage in the red corner, he's a striker, standing six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in 170.8 pounds. Tonight, he brings into the cage a record of five wins and one defeat. Representing Renegade Fighting Systems, and tonight, he fights from Charlotte, North Carolina. Please welcome the sniper, Ricky Rainey. And when the action starts in our cage, your referee, Donnie Jessup. All right, gentlemen, went over the rules in the back. Protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. Touch them up, good luck, and back them up. Tony Jessup with the final instructions. Closing odds here, courtesy of Nick Kalikas at Fight Odds. Ricky Rainey, the favorite, minus 400. Joseph Cornaroli at plus 280. Michael Chavello, Pat Militich with you live on Access TV, your home for mixed martial arts. Two big 170 pounders in the cage at the moment. Southpaw starts here on Cornaroli. Cornaroli's got a really wide stance, which can get you in trouble when you commit on something and you miss because your feet are wide. You can't get back out of the way. Very much a karate style here from Cornaroli. And there's that side kick that he throws to the legs and the body. That one up to the body. The very side on stance makes it harder for him to land a rear leg round kick because it has to travel that much further. Right. But also narrows the target that Rainey has to hit. Doesn't present as much of a target. And look at that. That's the reach of Ricky Rainey we spoke about. Straight right hand down the center corridor. Going for that liver. That's two kicks in a row. Side kick for the knee. Gets caught with a counter right hand. Does corner roll it. Rainey digs to the body. Rainey, a couple of shots to the nose there of corner roll it. Exchange of knees. Rainey doing They're a good job of head position, keeping the hip in tight, blocking him from getting out of there. Rolly backing Rainey against the cage now. Good balance by Rainey to get out of that little trip. Good chamber on the knee there to the outside right thigh from Ricky Rainey. Goes for a foot stomp. There's a corking knee of his own from Corner Rolly. Make it in triplicate from Corner Rolly. Nice knee, trying to fold him in half like Origami. Yeah, well placed. Snuck in there. Turns Rainey against the cage. We're really doing a good job of positioning and, and taking a lot of the explosiveness out of Rainey by doing what he's doing right now, tying him up. Thank you instructions coming from the corner. Of Ricky Rainey. Corner Rowley going to look for a submission, but Rainey pops her head out, drills in that left knee. He looked for that at the beginning of the round also, and it just wasn't there. That's something you really want to spring on somebody when it's wide open. Chance for a right knee here from Ricky Rainey if he throws it. 
wide open for him. Goes for a crossing elbow instead. Horizontal elbow known as a soft hood. Then goes back to the body of Cornaroli. Body and head off the right hand from Rainey. Tries to bow through with another knee. And I'm actually surprised Rainey's playing this game with it. Falling into his game plan. Both men clash knees there. Wrist control from Cornaroli. Corner calls for the knee and Cornaroli responds. Under 90 seconds remains in the first round. They've been mostly clinched up against the cage. Cornaroli not able to get out of there with the uh, double overhook yet. He's got to get one underhook. Makes it a heck of a lot easier. Then you can kind of decide which way you want to go. Under a minute remains here in the first round. Corner Rowley and Ricky Rainey. Rainey trying to pop off some right hands there. Throws the knees. He is a finisher, Ricky Rainey. Three of his four career wins. He has finished his opponent. There's an elbow to the outside left thigh. And another one from Rainey. Just trying to put down some points in this clinch. Former footballer for Western Carolina University, Ricky Rainey. They go to cage. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Seconds. Not really the barn burner we hoped for. Rainey jukes his way out of the clinch, tags corner Rowley, and just oh. misses with a high right round. What a way to end the stanza for the sniper, Ricky Rainey. Yeah, I think he had the round already, but nice explosiveness at the end, do a little damage, and make sure the uh, judges understand you're winning. Okay, Pat, if you're playing super coach, first of all, in the corner of corner Rolly, what are you telling him to do in the second? Fighters up, go out, second get uh, Rainey to exchange Fighters with you, up, get a takedown and put him down. Let's Use that go, purple guys. belt uh, from the Machado brothers. And if I'm Ricky Rainey's coach, quit tying oh. up with him. Second of three. Johnny Jessup to get us underway. Ricky Rainey taking the first round at 10 9 up. Ready. Fight! The karate style sidekick, the Yoko Geri. And there's a Mawashi Geri round kick. Listen to the chance for Ricky Rainey. High right round from Rainey. Nice lever kick. Nicely done. Double round kicks. Corner Rolly going after that liver now. My left round. You see how much further, though, that lead, uh, that real leg has to travel for corner Rolly, and Rainey's seeing it coming to the head. Yeah, and circled with it, which take a lot of, took a lot of steam off of it. Counter right hand off the sidekick from Rainey. He doesn't like that, Yoko Getty. It's very annoying to get hit with sidekicks, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you. Good timed left hand down the center court, raining between the eyes, and here they go, clinching up again, as they did for much of the first round. Rainey showing he's got a little more uh, leverage, a little more height, They're able to lift that underhook and turn uh, Cornarelli, put him back on the cage. There is a cut on the bridge of the nose of Joseph Cornaroli. 
popping right hands from Rainey. Yeah, up close, that actually had a little bit of steam on it. They were landing pretty solidly. Rainey remaining busy in the clinch. Good crossing elbow there. As we take a listen into the corner of Ricky Rainey. Half kick there from corner Rowley. Nice knee from Rainey. Let's go, guys. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Be great to get oh. a break from the ref. Oh. Thank you. And they do indeed. Let's see who hey. can capitalize from a distance now. Rainey's going to try and time if he throws a side kick. Corner Rowley. Blood coming from the nose of corner Rowley. There's that cut on the bridge of the nose as well. Rainey wants to fire that right hand. Look out for it. I think Rainey's just saying, what, what is this guy going to throw next? And I think it's really throwing his game off. And it's a jumping Magetti front kick from corner Rowley. And that reverse punch style left hand down the tube. They clinch up yet again. One minute 30 remains. Second of three. Call from the corner of Rainey to throw the elbows. And he responds. And back to the body. Yeah, he's got to get the inside tie and throw those. Or control the wrist and throw it over the top. Lunging away at that Ricky. nose. Ricky Rainey with his right hand. Digs the head in. Goes off the left back to that nose now. Throws a knee to the liver section. And even though I don't agree with what Rainey's doing, sticking in the uh, tied-up positions in here on the cage, he's winning the war in here, so he's winning the fight because of it. Head position, getting the underhooks, staying busy, landing the knees, the short punches, the elbows. So he's, he's winning the war. Half a minute remains in this penultimate round. And it's Cornaroli who breaks off. Is he sitting for a side kick here? There's a cut under the left eye of Ricky Rainey. Rainey looks a little gassed here. Cornaroli with that left hand. Rainey goes for a takedown. Double leg here for Rainey. Drives into the canvas. And that's how the round will end. How do you see it after two rounds? I've got Ricky Rainey uh, winning both rounds, sir. I have to agree with you, brother. Two to Rainey. Big goose egg for Joseph Cornaroli. The side kicks aren't having the effect that he thought they would. Generally not something you win a fight with. No. Good roadblock technique. 2018, Ricky out. Rainey after two says Pat Militich. Let's how are you scoring it? How did you out. vote on it? On our iPad, iPhone app. Are you top of the leaderboard? Third and final. Ricky Rainey, one final glance towards his corner. He is blowing heavy though. Round three. Round three. looks the fresher of the two. High left round from corner Rowley. He waits for a side kick, walks into a right hand. Lots of movement here from Cornaroli, trying to cut some very awkward angles. Yeah, Cornaroli tried to sneak that. Uh... Cornaroli capitalizes on the slip from Rainey. He tags.
taken with the left, he takes it with the right, Rainey could be ready to go. Corner Riley with a takedown, oh. this place has come alive. Awkward landing for Rainey there. Corner Riley going for a submission to the third, but Ricky Rainey pops the head out. Corner Riley trying to get him back on his back. Was not the time nor the place that Rainey wanted to slip, and Corner Riley was all over it. Nice job by Corner Rowley. I think he understands he's got to do something huge this round, and he recognizes, as you said, Rainey's gassing. The corner of Rainey saying, push him off, push him off. I don't know. I might be saying, hold on. <laughs> Get your air back and then prepare for another assault. Still plenty of time to go here in the final round. 3.40 remains. Now those chants were Crush Him. Joseph Corneroli's nickname is Crush. Foot stomp from Corneroli missed. Rainy with that knee. Rainy is sucking wind, man. I think you're tired uh, when you're scrambling. You're really tired after you get hurt. Right hands from Rainey. Oh, the elbow! That hurt. And Corner Rowley does a quick count of his teeth. Gut munching knees. Belly button through the back from Ricky Rainey. Another crossing elbow. Tries to take his ear off. Van Gogh style. And Corner Rowley puts him back against the cage. A real joust here in this clinch. Past the halfway point of the round, Cornaroli's doing a good job. I think he's winning the round so far, obviously, from hurting Rainey, but he's letting Rainey back in the game. Rainey gets the right hand free, goes to work on that upper lip, throws it into the lower left rib cage. Rainey's still blowing heavy here. Under two minutes remain to the fight. Just reached down and grabbed that leg. Not a lot of technique there. Just pulled it in. Rainey's caller calling for him to break off here with the right hand and pop it again to the face of Cornaroli. He goes to the body with it. There's the right hand, and there it is to the jaw! Corner rolling got tagged! Nice little flurry starting with the elbow, and then, then the hands came in right behind it. Corner rolling has a jaw on him. Rainey hit him flush in that exchange. <laughs> nice heel kick to the calf, and again there from Corner rolling. You hit that gastrocnemius muscle and do a lot of damage. Will Rainey break off again and try and go for the hands? The bloodied face, the bloodied upper lip. Looks like a circus clown does Corner Rowley. <laughs> Corner Rowley, high right round, throws a left hand. Rainey times it for the takedown. Corner Rowley straight back to his feet. Boy, he had that choke pretty tight. Rainey really greased out of it, man. Final 20 seconds of the fight. This crowd is going off their rockers. Ten seconds. Finally, uh, right before the buzzer, that's the fight, and what a co-main event it was. Cornaroli coming out with a fire underneath him. Rainey missed that uh, kick, fell down, and Cornaroli landed that beautiful left, landed an elbow there, and Rainey's in trouble. Stepping in post holes, falling all over the place. 
Nice throw, landed wrong on that one. Could have jacked his shoulder up pretty bad. And then Rainey doing a good job of surviving. He is tired. Look at him sucking air. And uh, did a good job of sucking it up, making it through that round and coming back and landing a lot of heavy shots of his own elbows and punches here and there, just enough to uh, survive. Will it be a Ricky Rain here? Will it be Joseph Corneroli? Don't forget, folks, if you're on Twitter, do add us on there at Access TV Fights. And while you're there, at Chevello Voice, at Pat Militich. We are ready for our decision once again. Let's go up to Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, you better make some noise for both these guys doing work. All three judges score this bout. 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, the sniper, Ricky Rainey. Ricky Rainey takes it. He moves his record ahead to six and one, and Pat Militich has the 